Hi friends, in this video we are going to derive power and torque equations of DC motor. Let's see here. I told you just now, for example, this is my DC motor. It is like this. For example, this is connected to a supply voltage. V. Of course, in this we have an armature winding. Which is back EMF and armature resistance and it absorbs the armature current and this is the voltage V from this back EMF is equals to V minus IA RA I told you already so from this back EMF is equals to V minus IA RA multiply with the IA what sir multiply with IA on both side now tell me what happens sir EB into IA is equals to V into IA minus IA square RA V into IA EB into IA IA square RA nothing but this is the the power output of machine which is developed in the armature this is the power input of machine and this is the losses simply losses so the power output that is eb into ia you should remember this one very important that is v ia minus IA square RA this is my power output of DC motors now condition for maximum power I want the condition for maximum power let's tell me how we know that differentiate the power with respect to variable and equals to zero is the common case so what is differentiation v minus 2 ia ra is equals to zero then what is the condition for maximum power v is equals to 2 ia ra is the one condition or ia is equals to v by 2 ra is the another condition for maximum power apart from this the main condition for maximum power substitute here the IA where IA is substitute here then what is the answer EB is equals to V minus IA is nothing but V by 2 RA of RA 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 gets cancelled so what is EB? EB is equals to V minus V by 2. V minus V by 2 is nothing but V by 2. So our back EMF is V by 2. This is the condition for maximum power many times asked in many competitive exams in different 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 model. So the question is same condition for maximum power is EV is equals to V by 2 nothing but 50% of voltage or the armature current at maximum power they may ask you question V by 2 RA these two are very important sir what is this this is the condition for maximum power actually but I want what is the maximum power I want the maximum power can you tell me how I can get it very simple substitute this EB on this one or substitute this IA on this power equation anyone there is no EB that's why substitute IA on this power equation then the power is called maximum power that is equals to VIA what is IA IA is nothing but V by 2 RA minus IA square 
nothing but v square by 4 r a square and multiply with r a r a and square gets cancelled so what is there p max is equals to v square by 2 r a minus v square by 4 r a the common is 4 r a our LCM is 4 R A. Here, 2 V square minus V square. So, what is the answer? V square by 4 R A. This is the familiar equation. The maximum power theorem. According to maximum power theorem, P max is equals to how much? V square by 4 R A. This is already the well known formula. So, you should remember this formula only. That's enough. This is well known. Now, they will ask you a question. See here. What is the efficiency at maximum power? Can you tell me? This is the question. Is it okay? So, efficiency at maximum power. Simply, efficiency is equals to output by input. What is the output? Output is nothing but E B I A. What is the input? Input nothing but V I A. I I A cancel. So efficiency at a maximum power is E B by V. But what is E B at maximum power? At maximum power E B is equals to V by 2 and V. V V gets cancelled. Hence efficiency at maximum power is 50 percent this is also well known answer already you know answer are you a sir no in maximum power theorem efficiency at maximum power is 50 percent we know that so this is simply power and torque equations of dc motor in that i calculated power Actually here, just P0 is equals to EBIA or P0 is equals to VIA minus IA square RA. From this equation, I calculated condition for maximum power and what is the maximum power and efficiency at maximum power. But uh, actually the power equation, P is equals to 2 pi NT by 60. That is actually the power equation. We have to derive that power equation, right? Let's see how we can derive that power equation here. So I am removing this. Now this is completed. Let's go for actual power equation. P is equals to 2 pi nt by 60. Well known formula but uh, some people don't know how to derive that formula. Let's derive that formula from the basics of physics. From the basics the power output is equals to rate of work done. Rate of work done is equals to power output. Rate of work done nothing but work done by time. This is nothing but rate of work done. Work done per revolution by Time for revolution is the rate of work done. Work done nothing but force into displacement for revolution upon time for revolution. This is generally. Force is the F of course. What is the displacement for revolution? For one revolution, what is the displacement here? For one revolution, displacement is 2 pi r upon... In general, we know n revolutions per minute. Nothing but n revolutions for one minute. Nothing but n revolutions for 60 seconds. Nothing but one revolution for... 1 revolutions for 60 by n. Then tell me what is the answer here. In generally, F into R, force into radius is taken as the torque T. So, this is 
टू पाई एन टी अपॉन सिक्सटी दिस इज द द पावर आउटपुट ऑफ माय मशीन और सिंपली द पावर ऑफ माय मशीन दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दे मे आस्क यू प्रॉब्लम this question is also taken as what is 2 pi by 60 here n is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 is nothing but omega the power p is equals to omega t is a well known question actually as well as the power p is equals to n t by 60 by 2 pi 60 by 2 pi bole to क्या सिक्सटी बाई टू पाई नथिंग बट टू पाई टू टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर सिक्स पॉइंट समथिंग सो इट्स वैल्यू नाइन पॉइंट डबल फाइव सो द पावर आउटपुट इज इक्वल्स टू टू पाई एन टी बाई सिक्सटी आर ओमेगा टी आर एन टी बाई नाइन पॉइंट डबल फाइव समटाइम्स दे विल गिव यू स्पीड एज ए नाइन फिफ्टी फाइव देन यू कैन रट इजीली so this is power output nt by 9.55 this is the power equation of my dc motor which is very important are you okay yes or no right clear now i want torque equation yes or no let's derive the torque equation for torque equation we must require this power equation again so we are going to derive the torque equation from the power equation power p is equals to 2 pi nt by 60 this is the power output power output is nothing but eb into ia this eb into ia is equals to 2 pi nt by 60 What is E B? E B nothing but phi Z N of of sixty of P by Y of I Y is equals to two pi N by sixty of T. Now tell me which is cancelled out? Which is cancelled out? N N cancelled sixty sixty cancelled. Is there any? Now I want torque T. So torque T is equals to One by two pi is the first one. Next one, Z P upon Y is the second one. One by two pi Z P by Y and phi into I Y. This is the the torque equation and this is the power equation. Is it okay? Okay or not? Now, now. One by two pi value. Can you tell me? Zero point one five nine Z P upon Y phi into I Y. This is actually the torque equation, but this is completely a constant value. Number of conductors constant, number of poles constant, and parallel paths constant. So always in our DC motor. The torque is directly proportional to phi into I A. This is a very important thing. Torque directly proportional to phi into I A. Here, before that, we calculated back E M F. Back E M F is equals to phi Z N of sixty and P by A. This back E M F is directly proportional to Phi into n, phi and n remaining are the constants. Nothing but this E B is equals to some constant k phi n. This torque is equals to some constant phi i a. Torque and E M F are important for our D C machine. But here actually the important thing is speed for motor than the E B. so speed is equals to eb by k phi or simply the speed is directly proportional to eb but inversely proportional to flux yes or no if flux increases for example 
if a flux increases then speed reduces for example if a flux decreases then speed increases this is the relation between flux and speed but here if a flux increases torque increases if a flux decreases then torque decreases this is the relation between flux and the torque and this is the relation between flux and the speed which are very important torque and speeds are very important for motor must and should there is a question in every competitive exam whatever the competitive exam there is a question on speed and torque of dc machine right so torque directly proportional to phi into ia and speed directly proportional to eb by phi the speed inversely proportional to flux whereas the torque directly proportional to the flux based on this they will ask you questions what is the theory question here how we can rotate the rotor in reverse direction or how we can change the direction of rotor rotation direction of rotor rotation direction of rotor rotation direction of rotor rotation reversed by how we can reverse the direction of rotor rotation reversed by first one either changing flux direction or by changing armature current direction these two are very 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 important how we can change the direction of rotor rotation is nothing but either by changing the flux direction or by changing the armature current direction we can change the direction of rotor rotation in our dc machine for example for example i going to change the flux direction torque is directly proportional to phi into ia actually but i am taking minus phi into ia then minus into plus minus when torque reversed then automatically speed also reversed then the rotor rotates in reverse direction is the first concept what is next concept torque directly proportional to phi into ia when armature current reversed minus into plus minus when torque reversed then automatically speed also reversed is the second case for example both are reversed flux and armature current both are reversed then then tell me minus into minus plus then the speed in same direction the rotor rotation in same direction this is simply about the torque equation of my dc motor so what i told you here either by changing the flux direction or by changing the current direction armature current direction we can change the direction of rotor rotation if both are reversed flux and armature current then there is no change in the torque then there is no change in the direction of rotor rotation this is very 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 important for our dc machine especially in dc motor if they want to ask you question this is first preferable place are you okay getting or not so this is what completely the mathematics of dc motor is it clear thank you